Hey everybody, I'm Ian Lobos with Keller Williams Realty and on today's video, we're gonna be talking about the October 2017 Baltimore Metro housing update, so stay tuned. All right, so now back to our topic. The October 2017 numbers are in and they're all calculated up. So let's go through them real quick. There's about eight points we're gonna get through and they'll give you a really good understanding of what's going on in and around the Baltimore Metro area. All right, so the Baltimore Metro median sales price was up 2.8% to 260,000 bucks. Now, what's really cool is that that was both last year and last month it was over. And here's the cool part, it's the highest October price level in over 10 years. So the sales volume across the Baltimore Metro area was up about half a percent, so, you know, pretty good. Things are steadily climbing. Now, closed sales were up about 1.2% compared to last year. That's actually the highest October in the last decade. So let's talk about new contract activity. It was up 7.3% over last year and 6.2% up over last month. Also, the highest October level in a decade. That means more buyers are qualified, more buyers are writing contracts, and more contracts are getting accepted. So if you're looking to purchase a home, this is definitely the time. Now, the levels could continue to go up. That's kind of where it's trending. So it's really, I guess, turning into a more of a buyer's market, um, especially just around here. Now, as far as listings go, they were up 8.1% over last year, but down 2.1% over last month. Now, all active listings, they declined by 11.3% for the 26th consecutive month of a declining year-over-year -year inventory level and the lowest October level in a decade. So you can see things are going from up and then to down, which means the market is shifting. So we definitely want to be buying now, selling now. We want to be making moves now because 2018 is going to be a very different year than we're used to probably over the last five years. So lastly, let's talk about the median days on market. It was 32, down eight days from this month last year. So what's that mean? It means that properties are selling faster. And as we as we discussed, inventory levels are declining. There's more people writing contracts. So obviously you can see that's why houses are flying off the, off the shelf more. Now, like we talk about in every video, if your house is sitting, there are three things mainly that you got to pinpoint. One, price. Two, condition. And three, location. So location, we know we can't change. Price, we definitely can change. And condition, your pictures are a part of your condition. So if you're not staged, if you are not looking the absolute best on that camera, so most people see it online first, definitely take another look. I mean, it's not too late. You can have a professional photographer come in. You can have them, you can have a professional designer or stager come in, rework your furniture, new pictures, get those online and get your house relisted nice and easy. All right, so that's it for October 2017 Baltimore Metro market update. Now, as always, I thank you so much for watching these videos. And obviously, the, the information in this video, it shows a market shift. So if you're thinking about buying or selling, I'd be more than happy to get on the phone with you, email, conference call. We can meet in person, grab some coffee, and we can talk about your specific situation and how the market may or may not affect you. I mean, look. Is a shift coming? Yes, and a lot of people are predicting that. However, it's not here yet. I mean, numbers are starting to move. So if you are thinking about buying or selling, definitely give us a call or an email. We'd love to sit down with you and then put a, a, a plan together for your specific situation so we can make the very best decision. And as always, if you love this video, please send it out to all your family and friends, post it on Facebook. And if there's a topic that you'd love me to cover, shoot me an email, send me a text, private message, phone call. I'd love to shoot the video for you. Um, until next time, thank you so much for watching.